Hi guys, welcome to my crafty corner. Tonight I thought I would just sit down and show you um, the projects that I worked on this week. I'm actually going to be doing this every Sunday. I will be posting this video, a video like it, every Sunday. And I'm just, it's just to show you what I worked on during the week and to show you the products that I've used. So these, the things that you see in front of you um, are the things that I worked on this week from Monday until Saturday, which is today is Saturday night. And I will upload on Sunday and the things that I don't have in front of me, I will just um, put a picture in at the end. Like for instance, I did some cupcake wrappers, real simple. I'll just add those in on the end. So let's get with it because I don't want this video to be too long. And I'll just show you the projects that I worked on this week when I had the time to do them. So we're going to start right here with this little card. I made two of these, one in pink, which I'll have to insert a picture because I've already sent it out. And then this one in blue, um, very simple cards. They were used with some Copics and some colored cardstock and Nina 110 pound cardstock. And the stamp set that I used is one of my new loves of life. The Hero, Hero Arts stamp stamp and cuts and the ones that I have are happy thanks and hello and it comes with these little sentiments as well which are just great I mean like this thanks is the perfect size for the card and you can add anything on there you want you're amazing you made my day you're awesome thank you for your kindness you're the best for everything I appreciate you so much and a bunch and it gives you a few stars so that is just the all of these in this grouping are just wonderful so i did make two of these one in pink just like it and then this blue one and with that i used the hero art stamps and cuts okay so that's one of the first that's the first thing i did in the week the second thing i did was oh my goodness i fell in love with the chef so let me just show you what i did so these are some cards that I made. Um, I'm trying to think of who they named him. I know, I know. It's not Oscar. Ola, maybe, I don't know. He's got a name now. Um, but the first card that I did was in the green paper and I just stacked him up balancing on the pans with the little sentiment that says, you, st you spice up my life. The next one I did um, with the chef with the um, bowl and I made it look like a cake batter and I cut the frying pan handle off and made it look like a cake pan and I put you um, you are one of the ingredients in my recipe for happiness and I just thought that was super sweet the coloring and everything so there was that one and then I had to do another one and I used the wonky frames um, for this one, I made it into a frame and it's your flippin' awesome. And I just kind of stuck the spatula in the pan and the little chef right there. Wink Costello glossy accents, you know, the whole nine yards there. Super cute. And then this one is another one of my favorites in this set. And this was your super cool with the super, like soup. So cute. Hot bowl of soup, a spoon, the soup pot. I used one of the um, oh what is that one called I don't remember it's not a circle it's that half circle one what is it called let's see if I can see it real quick this is why my videos take forever huh guys I apologize I thought I was ready but I'm not and I don't even see it, so I can't help you. All right, so it's the one that is shaped like a C with a line through it. I forgot what it's called. Um, super cute set, though, and that's what I made with that. And then for all of those cards, I used the um, new pattern paper, and I'll show you the stamp set as well. So those are those cards. And this is the stamp set. Now on this little guy here, I stamped him with the wrong ink. Um, 
on accident. I've moved it since, but I thought I was using my um, Copic Friendly ink and it wasn't, so it stained my stamp and that made me pretty sad, but that's okay. Um, so it comes with all of these really cute sentiments. Salt, a salt shaker, the pans. I wish it had an S for the salt shaker, but that's okay. Um, and it comes with the dies as well, which I've just put on two little magnets in there until I put them in my own sleeves. And that's what that looks like. So I use that for those cards. And then the paper pad, I did purchase all the paper pads. I just re -back, went back in and purchased a couple more of these. I just have to show you. Oh my God. Can you even see how cute these are? Let me go backwards. Look, the gray. Any critter, any hippo, elephant, whatever paper piece with that would be beautiful. Look at that. The green, the beige, oh, I'm in love. The peach, and it goes back. So on one set you get the square and then it's the diagonal. So I had to go back and order another one of these. But this one right here, all time favorite. My favorite pad of life right now. And that is the Just Delightful, uh, no, Country Fair plaid is what it's called. And um, that's what I used in all those cards. And these patterns are so beautiful. So beautiful. I love every single one. So I've already, I bought two of these um, when I got it. I've already ordered a backup because I'm going to use the crap out of this pad. I love it. Oh no, I'm hitting the light. I'm sorry, guys. I purchased this one as well. Um, turns out I don't I don't know that I'll use this one. The, these are the kinds of plaids that are just a little bit busy for me, but I'm going to try to find, I only purchased one of these, but I'm going to try to find something to do with it. I'm just not really, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe for boy cards or something, but I have a feeling it'll be one of those things that gets stuck somewhere and gets de-stashed later, but so I also got that one, but I didn't use it for these projects. Um, also for those projects, I did use the banner dies from My Favorite Things. I just love them. That's how I propped up um, all of the, their little sentiments was with these dies. And these was one of these ones. Each one of them had a different one on there. So, and you can see it just gives it such dimension and it's so pretty. So that's what I used for that was the my favorite things, banner dies, dimensional dies. All right, and then what do we have? All right, so then for my next set of cards, totally inspired by, um, I was cleaning, when I was cleaning up all my office and de-stashing, I came across a few things from paper smooches that I had in a, um, on a sleeve that I forgot I had and it took me to their website so I could figure out what the name of it was. And while I was there, I of course had to order something. So I had to, I'm gonna show you what that was in just a minute here. So I had to order the hibiscus, you'll see this. I had to order the hibiscus and the adorable array die. And the minute I saw these two dies, exactly what I did with them is what I visioned, envisioned I would do. So I'm going to show you um, what I did. And then I went ahead and I used the My Favorite Thing Rose die and did the same technique. So that's why I'm showing you that. I also used the Memory Box leaves and I used the My Favorite Thing um, Bigger leaves. So those are the dies that I used for these as well as this stamp set, which I'm totally in love with. This is fun and flirty, and it has, hey beautiful, a happy hello, you are ridiculously amazing, hope your day is awesome, and you're all kinds of wonderful. And then one of my favorites, you are my sunshine, and the next favorite, I miss your face. Oh, love love all of those so I use these sentiments on the cards so what I did is I took this is one that I messed up oh my god I was so tired when I, I redid this card but when I first did this card I went over the to the trimmer just to trim off a little bit and I I cut off half the card it's like talk about wanting to cry after doing all that Copic work but whatever 
So that happened. This one is the beautiful, oh, oh, what did I say it was? The beautiful array. Um, adorable, adorable array die. And what I did is I cut it out and I cut it out with the white border. And then I went in with some pink and light green um, cardstock and I just colored it in with my Copics. And the Copics that I used for the green on all of these cards was BG40 and BG43. I only did two colors and that's for the green. And then for all the flowers, I used RV55 and RV52. The only other thing I used was my Winkastella and my um, Pretty Pink Posh droplets here. So what I did is I took a piece of pink, um, rose pink, Simon Says stamp cardstock, and I just took my um, darkest of my Copic markers and I just did some flicking techniques to get the pinks a different color. I took the lighter color to blend them in a little bit and I stuck all the pieces back in and put it behind, put it on top of a little green cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. And isn't that beautiful? Love it with the happy hello. Absolutely beautiful. And then I did this one next, which is my, probably my favorite stamp, my favorite um, die of life right now, is the hibiscus one. And that is, um, as I said, from Paper Smooches. Again, I did the Hey Beautiful, put it on some pink cardstock, took the same color pink cardstock, and I just ever so lightly flipped in a darker color around the edges, colored in the little yellows, and I used the um, leaves that it came with of course for you know it comes with these and flipped in the green and then put them all back together and that's how that turned out really pretty and then this one i redid on this one i used some my favorite things bigger leaves which i actually like better but when i went to do it again i thought you know and i did the flicking motion for the flower on this one so i'm going to redo this one with the flicking i just haven't done it yet and then I ruined it, so the next day I came in and I did this one, and I used the memory box leaves instead. Same technique, just flicked it in. Only for this rose, I circle colored all around the edges instead of doing any flicking to give it a softer look, and I think it's absolutely stunning. I think it's beautiful. And for this one, I used your All Kinds of Wonderful. And then for all of these sentiments, I used my... Um, liquid platinum who makes it i think ranger makes it <sighs> i don't know i think i think it's ranger makes it the liquid platinum it's my favorite and on all of mine i keep a whether they're in the bottle or in this container i keep how it works with a word and how it works solid and keep it labeled so I know what it is. So all of these are stepped out, stamped out in that Hey Beautiful. And guys, those are the projects that I worked on this week. Um, I will be back next Sunday to show you the projects that I worked on for that week. And I'm gonna keep that going every Sunday instead of doing process videos. Um, I'm just gonna kinda show you what I did, showed you the products I used, I have some products coming in the mail that I'm going to be showing you pretty soon. And I do, yes, have one more de-stash um, on a few things if you guys are interested. Um, I think I'm going to be de-stashing my um, punches. If you guys are interested in those, let me know. And um, also some of my We Are Memory Keeper boards that I've purchased. I'm probably going to be de-stashing some of those as well, just to get room, just to make room. Um, and what about wooden stamps? Anybody interested in purchasing wooden stamps? Because that's the other thing I have to go through. So um, that's it for me for tonight. I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, I myself have been a little under the weather. I've been, um, my health hasn't been so great lately, but I've really enjoyed um crafting and taking care of that little pukachu of mine and um yeah that's about it let me know how you guys have been let me know what you've been doing and i will talk to you real soon bye